Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my what sold video for last week, Monday through Thursday, May 15th through the 18th. I'm not back to my pre-vacation sales, but you know, I've had better sales on the other pro platforms, so it's just kind of all evening out, I think. But just, I, I know something's up with eBay again because I made a post this morning in my Facebook group. Um, because when you go to send an invoice, my, my um, business thoughts on sending invoices, usually like the, when somebody buys something from me and they haven't paid, on the third or the morning of the fourth day, I try to send an invoice one more time. I know eBay has sent them out several several notices. I just figure I'll do it one more time. Um, and then, you know, then I'll just close it out later in the day. But all of a sudden, and I didn't notice it right away, so it happened several times. When you click send invoice, it resets your day. So then you have to wait four more days to do it again. And so I had three of them that were purchased like during my vacation and I'm, I was still fighting because it's, you know, the eight days and ugh, just don't click on send invoice. So I know something's up, but just I'm keeping doing, I'm back to doing my, my end and sell similar. I'm running my sales. I'm listing more than normal, trying to get stuff up. I'm listing different stuff, not just toys. Um, and that just really seems to help a lot of times because I hadn't been listing clothes and then I started listing clothes again. And then one day I had four clothing items to ship. So I, I really think being, you know, don't stay in one category. Try to list in multiples when you are listing. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it'll start getting better by next week. We went out, like I need more inventory, but we went out to um, estate sales and yard sales today and found such neat stuff. If you guys could only see my basement right now, if you could only see, I have a lot of work ahead of me. And what do I do? We went out on a Thursday when I really should have been here processing stuff. We went out with half of the tea and picker couple, um, Tim, and hit the estate sale. And then we just kind of went and hit up a few yard sales and stuff. But we had to go to this estate sale because, of course, in the pictures, I see tons of vintage toys, including Little People, but their Little People set was in way bad condition and very overpriced, but I did get a whole bag full of um, just vintage toys, something else for my wall, um, a whole lot of the um, Adventure People from Fisher-Price, so it, 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 was, it was a fun day just to, again... Not be doing work down here, but, you know, still working, still working. And y'all, I said I wasn't interested. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I did it. I did it. I applied for whatnot and got approved. I haven't done anything from that yet, but I got approved. I tried last year, and they wanted all this stuff from us, but I just decided... I'm going to give it a try. So now it's got my brain thinking differently. Um, but, you know, just another platform to sell stuff on. So we'll see how that goes. I'll be letting y'all know when I get all of that figured out. But we've got, I like sourcing this time of year because we get such a variety of things. So. It'll be just, you know, something else to, to try, and I may fall on my face, but I will have at least tried, right? All right, let's get to this. I had sales on all four platforms, so, but it just wasn't a ton, but it's okay. But we'll start with Mercari. I had three sales on there. First thing, Fisher Price, Lolly Doll. I have mine up there, and I've actually... 
I think I still have two more. Yeah, I was gifted one. I think that's the gifted one. And then I have found two since then at um, yard sales. So it sold for $12. Oops, I got a bag here. Oops. Build a bear. I had this listed for $10, got an $8 offer, and I'm just, uh, I'm kind of over the build a bear, unless it's something unique and going to be high dollar. They just take up a whole lot of space. So another one gone, $8. And then Fisher Price Little People Zoo Tree. I think this was from the Highway 127 cell that I picked up last year. Um, but I, again, I got another offer. I'm just trying to get these algorithms happy with me right now after this vacation. So I took a $7 offer on it. Then on Poshmark, these are some New Balance 990 men's running shoes. The guy and I started offering, counter-offering, right before vacation. Then I put my Poshmark on vacation, and then he started sending me counter-offers. And you, while my store was on vacation, and before I could, you know, before I accepted an offer, I couldn't seem to figure out how I could contact him. So he kept sending me counter-offers and counter-offers and upping his price a little bit, and finally I was... When we got back from vacation and I could actually ship, I accepted his counter offer. I mean, then I sent him a quick note just saying, you know, there was no way for me to contact him. He didn't have anything in his own profile. And I don't really know the ins and outs of Poshmark very much, but I just apologized and explained why I hadn't been responding to his counter offers because I was willing to take it. It was at a level, but he actually went up a couple more dollars. So these tennis shoes sold for $30. And then these are some Sperry Top Cider wedges. They sold for $18 on Posh. And then Lego Duplo, Duplo, my first police set, which was incomplete, sold for $18. Now eBay. Started off with jeans. These are Carhartt Men's. Um, jeans sold for $16 best offer if you're new to my channel I don't do free shipping so if um, the buyer paid $16 plus the shipping Fiesta blue leopard plush sold for $8.33 Gons Gons I always want to call it Gons Gans angel bear plush sold for $8.96 Sunbeam Big Oscar Food Processor. This was just the like bowl lid replacement part. Sold for $13.45. And these were still sales while we were on vacation. They further along we then it started. We got back Tuesday. I shipped Wednesday. So then I had turned my store back on. I think I had left it on. Um, but I Finally got it back to one day processing um, on Tuesday. This is a Carter's I Love Mommy Monkey Lovey. Sold for $8.96. I find them a lot, but, you know, they always sell. Bread and butter. Mioni by Aurora. This is a Polar Bear plush. Sold for $8.06. Battleground Gettysburg PC Game. This had to have been a Robert pickup. Um, still $11.66 for probably something that was in a box lot or something. Embassy International Raccoon Mom and Baby Plush. I don't think this has been listed very long because I remember doing comps recently for a um, uh, haul. Pretty sure it was from the St. Louis haul that I've kind of shuffled off to the side right now because I've been doing so many um, videos on the large estate sale of the vintage plush I picked up and then I've got so many um, hauls kind of banked right now because we've been buying a lot of stuff. This is a purple sheep lamb plush. This was actually from that large estate sale that I've been showing you all the vintage stuff. Um, but for some reason, this was in there. It was from 2015 Inter-American Product. 
um, sold for $22.45. Definitely when you find um, plush that are different colors, they tend to do very well for me. Hot Wheels Redline Gunslinger Jeep. I remember there was like a like a bowl full of like Hot Wheels and stuff when we were, I think either the, I think it was the Nashville bins and Robert shockingly was like, there's red lines in there. This was a bin that had been sitting there for a while. And I think we ended up getting a couple of red lines out of her. Now they were beat up. You can look at this one. It's been beat up, still sold for $12.10. Vintage Christmas. I love finding um, new in the package gift wrap. This is just one of those like multi type uh, gift wrap. Um, you know, the, the little gift cards, all of that was in this bag from 1985, sold for $40. Definitely keep your eyes out for the vintage stuff. Now, the long rolls, I used to pick up the long rolls that were vintage, but with that new dimensional weight and size stuff, it really has turned into something that's just not cost-effective to ship. Wildlife artist, red-eyed tree frog sold for $12.10. Blankets and Beyond, Rabbit Lovey, sold for $17.95. Rinko, I'd never found that brand before, but it was a gray manatee from 2009, sold for $16.16. .16. Manhattan Toys, Orange Pig Plush, from 2013, sold for $8.50. I just love that brand. It just doesn't get the love. Puppy Pals, this is just some of the bin stuff that I love to pick up, all the smalls. Um, this is Puppy Pals, Bingo and Rolly, just a different variety of the figures, sold for $11.66. I mean, they're little, one and a half inches tall. Disney's JoJo's Circus, this is the Lion Plush, sold for $8.06. My daughter-in-law brought me over a bag of stuff from her, um, I think it was from her dad's house, and I was shocked. I listed this. There was nothing like it listed on eBay. Just decided it's just a little, from Avon, a little pill case that was plastic heart. $12.95 sold immediately. Immediately. If you see any of that Avon wellness stuff, definitely check the comms. Although I didn't find any. Another Mione by Aurora. This is the Calico Cat. It sold for $17.95. Now, this was a Ben's pickup, so I didn't have very much in it. It's local design, Hawaii crossbody bag. I thought about keeping it, but I kind of like my Kavu, so I went ahead and listed this. Sold for $11.25. Tie. Tie. But this is from the Attic Treasure series. It's an 8-inch plush, kind of small, sold for $15.50. Nordic Wear Wildflower Pan. I think this also came from my daughter-in-law. It sold very quickly, $14.95. Nordic Wear is one of the ones that that's the only brand you can use the word bunt with. Just referencing that. If you find a round pan with the little tube in the middle, if it's not Nordic wear, don't, don't use the word bunt. Bero. This is Texas wear. I had sold the set of bowls that I had purchased with this the week, like the week before we went on vacation. And then I guess the person decided she wanted the plates also. Um, so this was a set of eight of the salad plates. They're that melamine. $26.95. Ugly Doll. Some of them sell for quite a lot, but most of them are bread and butter. This one was from 2019. It did make sounds. Sold for $9.95. Now this is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Michelle and her daughter, Christy. They 
purchased the Care Bears Advent Calendar that I picked up at that um, large estate sale that I've been talking about. Um, they paid, oh, it was from 1984, sold for $36.75. So thank you very much. Hug Fun. Well, I like that brand. Just, I do. And I do very well with that brand with dogs. This was a gray dog, um, one of the terriers. 16 inches, sold for $13.45. This is Gund, but it's called Gundamals. Um, I just sold a different one. I don't remember what it was. I remember it was a, like maybe a black cat. Um, this is the White Poodle. It sold for $17.95. I think I've finally sold out all of these. A lot of times I have a hard time selling the, the dinner knives to some of these sets when I'm selling them, you know, in lots of four, like four spoons, four knives. Um, but I think this was the last of it. But this is Reed and Barton. Um, they are stainless flatware. I made a lot of money from them. Just one of the ones to definitely be looking for. These four knives sold for $18.59. And then I saved my Etsy's for last. Um, they were like, as soon as I turned Etsy back on, I sold these almost immediately. Two sales back to back, and then there's been <laughs> none since. But I just thought I'd go ahead and make them last because they were decent sales. I tend to put my vintage plush higher dollar stuff on there. Um, this is Commonwealth. It's Mac Molly Moose, 22 inch from 1998. Sold for $24.95. And this. This is Kids Preferred. It was from 2000. Um, White Tiger sold for $29.95. So the, I, for a five inch plush. Can't beat that. All right. It's Thursday, like I said. <laughs> We're getting up and hitting yard sales tomorrow morning. But I, I'm trying to get back earlier tomorrow so I can just start getting some videos done, getting some more of this stuff processed because I've hardly touched on any of the stuff that we picked up on our trip. Um, and then we've had another, another major purchase here in the last couple of days and then found some amazing stuff today just running around. So, gotta get to work, y'all. Bye.